Thinking humanly, the cognitive modeling approach. If we are going to say that a given program thinks like a human, we must have some way of determining how humans think. We need to get inside the actual workings of human minds. There are three ways to do this. Through introspection, trying to catch our own thoughts as they go by, through psychological experiments, observing a person in action, and through brain imaging, observing the brain in action. Once we have a sufficiently precise theory of the mind, it becomes possible to express the theory as a computer program. If the program's input-output behavior matches corresponding human behavior, that is evidence that some of the program's mechanisms could also be operating in humans. For example, Alan Newell and Herbert Simon, who developed GPS, the general problem solver, Newell and Simon, 1961, were not content merely to have their program solve problems correctly. They were more concerned with comparing the trace of its reasoning steps to traces of human subjects solving the same problems. The interdisciplinary field of cognitive science brings together computer models from AI and experimental techniques from psychology to construct precise and testable theories of the human mind. Cognitive science is a fascinating field in itself, worthy of several textbooks and at least one encyclopedia. We will occasionally comment on similarities or differences between AI techniques and human cognition. Real cognitive science, however, is necessarily based on experimental investigation of actual humans or animals. We will leave that for other books, as we assume the reader has only a computer for experimentation. In the early days of AI, there was often confusion between the approaches. An author would argue that an algorithm performs well on a task and that it is therefore a good model of human performance or vice versa. Modern authors separate the two kinds of claims. This distinction has allowed both AI and cognitive science to develop more rapidly. The two fields continue to fertilize each other, most notably in computer vision, which incorporates neurophysiological evidence into computational models. 